Hi, my name is Joe Cosmo and I'm the uh, mission manager here for uh, Desert Rats. My name is Barbara Ginoco and I'm the test coordinator for Desert Rats. My name is James Johnson and I'm the deputy test coordinator here at Desert Rats. Desert RAT stands for Research and Technology Studies. It's an effort for us to take a look at next generation exploration concepts. We take a look at how you're going to do operations when you move past Earth, as well as testing out new technologies and validating how those systems work in an extreme environment. We started Desert RATs about 14 years ago. Uh, looking at the aspect of exploration beyond low Earth orbit and to give young people an experience and an opportunity to start developing our technology and hardware systems as well as our mission operation scenarios to explore beyond low, low Earth orbit, be it planets or asteroids. This year, unlike the uh, past years, we're going to be looking at uh, what, it does, what does it take to actually explore an asteroid. You know, we're, we've got a number of systems out here, a couple of different type of vehicles, and we've got a deep space habitat. So we're looking at a combination of various test conditions and to understand, you know, how many systems do we really need, what kind of mobility systems do we need, and what kind of mix of crew members do we need to actually do the exploration of an asteroid. Field activities like Desert Rats are important for helping NASA figure out how to best explore other areas, um, how to best use the combination of vehicles and habitats and crew to conduct exploration missions. So we have several key hardware elements here at Desert Rats. We have the habitat demonstration unit in the deep space habitat configuration. In addition to that, we also have the space exploration vehicle, or rover. We also have a lot of smaller technologies that we'll be testing, such as a new next generation electronic cuff checklist for our EVA crew members, uh, in addition to next generation radio systems and communication systems. This year we have a pretty large team from nine different NASA centers, industry and academia. Um, folks are from all over the country as well as other countries. So really Desert Rats is a lot about collaboration between all of these different entities and all these different elements, trying to bring them together, bring all these new ideas together to really see how are we going to go ahead and explore beyond low Earth orbit in the future.